Major League, getting ready for week one. You're on the 53. Mm -hmm. So what's kind of your emotions now getting ready for your rookie season? Uh, just excited. Obviously, you know, it's all just a dream until it actually happened. It, uh, you know, just being able to be here and, you know, make the team be able to, you know, now officially be here with, uh, you know, who's going to be here this season is, is fun. Has the work ethic already started preparing for Cleveland? Yeah. <laughs> How so? Yeah. So uh, we've already, like, started, you know, going in and dissecting uh, them and what they do. Uh, it's still a little confusion on, you know, some things, but, you know, we're working through it and getting past that. Does it feel like drinking from a fire hose still, or are you kind of settled in by now? We settled in. Settled in. How yeah. quick did it happen for you? Uh, pretty fast. <laughs> I feel like uh, as soon as I got here, you know, I just learned the plays and everything else just fell in line. You've been praised for that work ethic for quite some time. Where did that begin for you? Was there a, a moment in time where it kind of just clicked for you and you were able to take the game on it? Yes. So my sophomore year of high school, uh, we were in the first round of playoffs. We played a team that had Jalen Mayfield on it. And I was cooking up all game. So, like, if you see this, you know that I was cooking up. But then it was one play I remember he pancaked me. First time I ever got pancaked, that very next day began my journey of being in the weight room 24-7. <laughs> so it never happened again. So, yeah. You feel like you would get him back uh, even to this day? Oh, yeah. What have you learned most about Mike Zimmer just as a coach and as a person just being with him in this first year and now going through a whole training camp? Mm -hmm. Uh, I love him as a coach, a uh, great person uh, as well outside of being a coach. Um, you know, they say, you know, he got that, you know, sometimes he could be a little harsh on his guys, but we haven't got to see it yet. And hopefully me personally, I don't get to see it. Uh, you know, I work my tail off as much as I can to be able to learn the plays and run it how he want. But like, obviously, you know, still have my little flair to it, but you know, yeah. What's the value of, I talk about the value of coming in as a rookie. And obviously, you get to learn under guys like Michael Parsons and Marcus Lawrence, but then new additions like Carl Lawson, mm -hmm. Lamar Joseph, Jordan Phillips. How much will that help shorten your learning curve uh, in the NFL? Uh, very much so. Just having uh, a lot of veteran guys in the uh, in the room is just a lot of knowledge to be able to soak in. Um, a lot of guys, you know, that played at different places, uh, played different positions, all in that same group is just like, you know a lot of knowledge that I get to learn from early on. And, you know, I thought it was going to be a lot with, you know, just D-Law here, but now we got a lot more older guys that's, you know, I'm trying to grasp as much as I can. Do you have any goals as a rookie? Defensive rookie of the year. <laughs> Other than that, just, you know, winning with my team. Appreciate it. Thanks, 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 Thank you.